everyone, Amy Love here with just another quick share and it is another um, file folder pocket letter because thanks to BD Bomb Bomb, I'm obsessed. I'm just obsessed. <coughs> and I just think <coughs> there's such a cute Valentine's thing to do. So um, I made this one, it's actually going in a swap, even though the swap isn't for this, this was kind of like a bonus <laughs> to my swap partner because I can't help myself. So uh, for this file folder pocket letter, I used um, this paper pad from Recollections that I got uh, an excellent deal on at Michael's the other day. I went into Michael's and they were having, um, I don't even remember what the sale was, but I got three pads of paper and I was so excited because you know, I needed more paper, of course I did. And um, so here it is. And I used this a lovely glitter washi that I've been wearing on my face uh, for at least two days now. <laughs> and we we met some friends for dinner last night and it really, I tried so hard to, to remove the glitter from my face so I wasn't sparkling all through dinner. <clears throat> but they were kind enough not to mention it. <laughs> so, so I, um, what was fun about this the cover is I kind of treated it like an art journal page that I've done before. Cut out these hearts and then um, just outlined them with a black sharpie and then made it look like they're hanging from above. So that was fun because I do miss my art journal, but it's all, you know, still packed away downstairs. But hopefully sometime this year. Anyway. And I got this amazing uh, glitter well, you can see it better on the hearts. This glitter paper, also recollections and part of the deal that I got at uh, Michael's. Love it so much. And then um, I added a paper doily on top and then uh, this tassel that I got in some happy mail. And then I made this paper bow to go on the top and I kept, you know, the backs just simple but what I love about these is you can really chunk them up I mean it's just a file folder so I mean I could have made a closure here but I didn't but I think it's still it's okay it's okay very cute I had so much fun doing this so for the inside I decided to practice making a little flip out type thing um, and I was totally winging it that's why it's not very good <laughs> I didn't follow a tutorial I was making it up as I went along and it's uh, you know how I am with measuring. So it's not exactly straight or it doesn't close as well as if I probably could have followed a tutorial and done a much better job. But I was just kind of just playing around with it. But I mean, it's all right. It'll do. And so I just uh, used this beautiful seam binding as a closure. I can't remember where I got the seam binding from, from somebody. I think it was in Happy Mail, but it's so cute. So I just made this little flip out. Um, these two envelopes are full of one's punches and one's die cuts. And then it comes up even more and then it even flips out. Look, I was so proud of myself, y'all. You don't even know. And so I made two um, pockets here and I put in some uh, cutouts from the paper pad to share. So cute. Yeah, I really had fun doing that. How's it go? This way. Sorry, I'm trying to do it upside down. And tie it. Let me tie it shut. But isn't this paper pad adorable? I love it. It's just so super cute. And then here is the pocket letter I created. So I did more of the hanging hearts across the top with some lace. Of course, I got some craft supplies for you. I made a bow and of course a shaker. And then, okay. I made a little envelope and then I filled it with hearts. So it's like an envelope full of hearts, but okay, tiny envelopes. Whoa, no, I'm gonna have to get like a punch. I think I'm sure there's like a punch, right? Like I have an envelope punch board. It doesn't make envelopes this small, but I feel like there's an envelope punch for tiny envelopes. I need to invest in that. Making tiny envelopes was making me crazy. Making me crazy. So yes, yeah, so I'm on the lookout for the envelope punch. And then, um, I added this down here. This is from the paper pad, super cute. And I don't remember where I got these really dimensional heart um, stickers. I don't remember. It might have been from Maggie White, but I, I can't be, I can't be positive. 
And so I am filling the back, of course, with goodies, which I obviously haven't finished yet. And then I made this nice uh, big pocket right here to hold goodies. And this is out of the paper. This paper bag had really great like cutouts. <clears throat> really, really fantastic. And I love this background paper. So I've got this bit. I mean, I've got this big pocket. I've got the goodies in the pocket letter. I've got goodies in here. I mean, it just holds. So excuse me. <laughs> I apologize. My allergies are ridiculous. I am so sorry that happened. But here is my latest file folder pocket letter. I do have um, a video that I made of a uh, uh, loaded or a uh, and an alternate embroidery hoop that I made recently, but I can't get the tutorial part to load unless I speed it up a whole, whole lot. And I no longer have the uh, hoop in my possession, so I, I can't figure out how I'm going to do that. It was it ended, I, I didn't speed it up too much because I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing, you know. And it was like 20, over 20 minutes long, and I cannot upload it. I absolutely cannot from here, from the mountains of Maine, upload videos that are that long. So that's really hindering my ability to do uh, process videos or tutorials. I can do them live, but uh, I feel like the quality isn't as good. So I am, I am. That's why I'm not making a lot of videos right now. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how that's going to look and what's going to be up with that. But um, I'm going to do my best to figure it out. So I want to uh, thank everybody for watching. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and I will see you on the next one.